What's up guys, today I'm gonna go through and do a quick tutorial and share this app called Time Bolt, which basically automatically cuts out the silences in your videos. And for me, it's been a huge time saver when it comes to editing my tutorials. So I'm sure you might find this useful if you're editing long interviews or podcasts, any type of long form video that you find yourself having to do hundreds of cuts. And it also works seamlessly with Final Cut Pro, which is why I really like it. So let's open the app and I'll show you exactly how I use it and how it works with Final Cut Pro. So here we have the app. The first thing you want to do is select the video that you want to cut down and cut out the silences. So for an example, I'm going to use my latest tutorial that I did. Within a few seconds, Time Bolt has gone through the whole video, which is 30 minutes long, and it's detected all of the silence parts and cut them out. You can see on the timeline here, all of the parts in red are the bits that it's going to cut out. And there's a bunch of different settings that you can change, but I won't go into those right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is go down to the bottom, export options and click Final Cut Pro XML. And now that's exported, it didn't have to render it out or anything like that. So now what I need to do is just go back into Final Cut Pro, go up to file, go to import and go to XML. And then I just need to find that exported file, which will be in the same folder as the video file that we used. And there it is the screen recording XML import. So now it has the project up here. I'm going to double click on that project and you can see all of the cuts that it's made to this tutorial. I just need to tidy it up and then it's ready to export. And the best thing about this is that it doesn't actually delete any footage. It just adds the cuts. So if I go and try and extend these clips, I still have the original video clip if I wanted to use that in the edit. So for me, this app has been a huge time saver. So I'm sure some of you guys will find this just as useful as I did. There's much more information on their website and you can use my discount code rnangle for 20% off if you want to use this app. I'll leave the link to it in the description. So if we go back into the Time Bolt app, they actually have a few features that you can do some basic editing. You can see in the green, it has the audio that is picked out that it will send to Final Cut Pro. And if you click on the green bar up here or on the red bar, then you can select or deselect which parts of the video clip you want to send into Final Cut Pro. So you can already do like a rough edit inside Time Bolt, which is really useful. And then if we go further down, we have the setting filter below sound level. And this is basically the level that Time Bolt will select and delete. So we can turn this up and down depending on the levels of the audio track. The left padding and the right padding is how close it will cut the audio from when it goes silent to when it's loud. So if you wanted a slower paced video, then you just need to turn these up slightly. I've turned the right padding up because I found that it cuts out some of my words sometimes. So I just turned the right padding up slightly. This feature is quite cool, the fast forward silences. So for me doing tutorials, because I want to show what I'm doing on the screen, even when it's silent, normally tick this depending on the tutorial and it won't delete the silences. It will just fast forward them. So you still see the image on the screen. Apply transitions will add nice crossfades in between the audio. And it actually has a bunch of different presets that you can use. If you click on the information here, then each feature actually has a video which tells you how to use it and more information on them. Here we can actually add background music. So if you're not going into an editor afterwards, then this is a handy feature. And then we go down to the rendering options and I use the XML option, but you can just render this out as a video clip. So it's kind of like a mini editor. And then they've just added this turbo mode, which will actually speed up your voice and the whole recording if you wanted to fit it into a short or you had to fit the whole video down into a certain time then turbo mode can be really good. If you find this app as useful as I do, then I have a discount code, which will get you 20% off. I'll leave that and the link to their website in the description if you wanted to go check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.